video, I'm going to discuss SAA Congruence Postulate. SAA Congruence Postulate states that if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and a non-included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Example number one. So, I have here the figure. This is a rectangle L-O-V-E with angle one here and angle two here. So, given that angle O and angle E are right angles and angle one here is congruent to angle two. So, we're going to prove that triangle LEV, this triangle here, is congruent to triangle LOV. So again, we're going to use the two column proof. So we're going to write here the proof. Then first Side. column is the statements. And second column will be the reasons. So for our first statement, we're going to have the first given angle O and angle E are right angles. So our reason here will be given. Then number two, if these two angles are right angles, meaning we can say that these two angles are congruent. So angle O is congruent to angle E. So all right angles are congruent. Then another given here, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So our reason here will be given. Now if we're going to look at the figure, we can have or we can use the reflexive property to prove that LV is congruent to LV. So in here we can have line segment LV is congruent to line segment LV. So the reason here will be reflexive property. A segment is just equal or congruent to the same segment to itself. So we have here a line segment or a side and two angles. So this side here is not included. So we can have or we have proven that these two triangles LEV and LOV are congruent using the SAA congruence postulate. We are going to have triangle LEV is congruent to triangle LOV. Our reason here will be SAA congruence postulate. Number two, given that line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC, so these two line segments are parallel, and line segment AD, this line segment, is congruent to line segment BC. So we're going to prove that triangle AOD, AOD is congruent to triangle COB. So let's have the proof. So statements. And reasons. So as usual, we're going to have the given as our first statement. So line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC. So the reason here will be given. And since AD is parallel to BC, we can have these two line segments here, AC and DB as a transversal. So if we're going to base our transversal as AC, this line segment here, we can have angle A and angle C as alternate interior angles. So we can have here in the second statement angle A and 
angle C are alternate interior angles. This is based on the figure. Based on the given figure. Then since these two are alternate interior angles, we can say that these two angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle C. Because alternate interior angles are congruent. So these two angles are congruent. Now if we're going to look these angles here, these two angles are vertical angles. So angle AOD and angle COB are vertical angles. Again, our reason here will be based on the figure. based on the given figure. Now, since these two are vertical angles, we can say that these two are congruent. So, angle AOD is congruent to angle COB. Vertical angles are congruent. So, we have proven here two angles or pairs of angles that are congruent and we have another given here a non-included side a pair of non-included side that are also congruent so we're just going to write that one line segment ad is congruent to line segment bc a reason here will be given so two non uh, two pairs of angles in a non-included side so we can say that Triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COB using the SAA congruence postulate. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.